Hello, I'm Douglas Johnson and welcome to Day Tripping. So today I wanna to talk about this thing. This is probably the most debated siren that I see on my walks. Uh, debated because nobody can really agree on what it is. Um, is it a federal model, uh, federal model five that has been cut down? Is it a HOR zero drone? Um, or is it a federal code Mach 3 or Model 3. Uh, nobody has been able to agree uh, or come to an agreement or, or a, um, a consensus on, on what the name of this thing is. However, I think I finally have an answer. I think I've done enough research and I've looked around enough and I've gotten enough comments where I'm pretty confident in calling it. But first, I want to I don't want to discount the HOR Zero Drone uh, community of people out there. Because if you look up the HOR wiki on the webpage airraidsirens.net, they even admit the Zero Drone came in 1 8, 2, 3, 5, and 7.5 and horsepowers and were smaller vertical sirens similar to a Federal Code Federal Siren. So if you look at this video here from Sirens of Long Island, you'll see that the, uh, the siren uh, looks remarkably similar to the one that was on the top of the fire station. Uh, it's got the two cones and they're kind of collapsed together fairly tight. This one I can see uh, a similarity between the HOR and a possible Model 3. So there's also this video here from DSRX100. It's of an HOR Zero Drone from New Palestine, Indiana. And if you look at it, it looks almost exactly like the sirens that we're seeing out on the walks. And they have the two top cylinders like pancake together. Uh, and if I looked at this without knowing what it was, uh, I would say that it was a Model 3. So as you can see, the look of it from a distance, it totally looks like an HOR Zero Drone. And if we lived in a tornado country or a part of the United States where the sirens were actually uh, in use for tornado warnings and storm warnings and uh, fire departments and stuff, then this would probably be an HOR. However, we don't live there. We live in Los Angeles. Now, I don't think that this siren was part of the Cold War civil defense system that was put in through the 50s uh, up through the 80s uh, because those were basically the 500s, those uh, the spinning sirens. I guess they would call the 500 STs. I always get, get wrong on the, the letters at the end of that. And the SD10s, that was uh, when those sirens were put in. This one, I think, was ordered and installed during World War II as part of the air raid siren system. As we know, the Cold War system, it was more of a missile defense warning, and uh, World War II was more of like air raid, like planes were gonna come in and bomb the city. And uh, and, and that was, the, most of the sirens would look like this. So I think this is a Federal Signal Corp siren. That being said, it goes by a couple of names. Uh, one is called a birdhouse because it, According to the uh, Los Angeles Air Raid Sirens.com, they list this one as a birdhouse siren. And if you look at it, yeah, it kind of looks like with, with, with the with the shape of it and everything, it looks like something you'd, you'd put out and hang on a tree like a, like a birdhouse. Uh, and then another uh, theory is that it is a Model 5 or a Model 7, 7 uh, that's been cut down. Uh, due to uh, metal shortages during the war. And, and that also might be the case. The other option is that it's a Model 3, that it's a Federal Signal Corp or a Federal Code 3. And here's the reason why I believe that. It was from a couple of comments that I read. One of them was from Dylan Cavill, if I'm pronouncing that correctly, who states the flat birdhouse sirens are actually Federal Model 3 Ls. The L stands for low tone. The reason the housings are shorter is because of a metal shortage during the time of manufacturing, which would have been World War II. That was when we had the metal shortage. After World War II, I don't think we had too much metal shortage that we had to worry about. So the only time there would have been a metal shortage f f that gave them a need to cut it down would have been during World War II when the metal was needed for things like, you know, bombs, bullets, uh, planes, trucks, ships, all, all the war supplies that were needed during the time. So another comment that I read was uh, from Nate's Trains. They write, someone looked at the model tag on the flattened birdhouse siren and it said Mach 3L. The federal, the federal code models use Mach instead of model when naming the sirens. So between those two, it, I, I think that answers it, that they're, they're model threes. And the threes were three horsepower sirens and supposedly uh, 30 of those were ordered and uh, and put into Los Angeles during World War II. And where did I get that number from? Well, 
I found on Facebook, of all places, looking around, uh, Long Island, on the Facebook page, Long Island Fire Alarm, they have a post with, these, with, with pictures of these sirens, and that post reads, the Federal Electric Federal Code Mach 3, three horsepower, eight port, low tone sirens delivered to the city of Los Angeles, California on December 20th, 1941. That's like right after Pearl Harbor. I mean, Pearl Harbor was the seventh and these things were delivered on the 20th. So yeah, the city was definitely getting their air raid siren uh, system in place at that point. Uh, and it goes on to say, there were a total of 30 of these three horsepower sirens in service by January 9th, 1942. Originally, they were atop of tall buildings on wooden skeleton towers or wooden telephone poles. So those wooden towers would have looked like this. This is the one I saw on one of my recent trips. It's at the fire station. Uh, and you can see the wooden uh, lattice tower with the siren on top of it. So you can see the photograph of these girls sitting on a similar structure with a, a Model 7. And then it goes on, these 75 plus year old sirens are still in fantastic shape and will crank right up like the day they were brand new. They just need a paint job. Remember, three phase federal sirens were built to, to run and last for 500 years. So yeah, there you have it. Uh, between all those comments and the Facebook page, and I'll put the link to that Facebook page in the uh, description and you could read it yourself. So I am now fairly certain and satisfied to call these sirens Model 3s or Mach 3s, Federal Code Mach 3s. So on the rest of my walks from now on, I'll probably be referring to these things as Mach 3s. Um, so yeah, let me know what you think. Do you think that they're a Mach 3? Do you think I should still be calling them a cut down? Do you think I made a satisfactory argument against calling these HOR Zero Drones? Uh, let me know in the comments. So as always, thank you so much for watching. Uh, remember to like and subscribe if you like what I'm doing and try to get out, stay sane and stay healthy.